Uh-huh. Y'all ain't ready for this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go. Yeah. Listen. Uh-huh. Check it. Let these bars give you an introduction. Chases. Sweet touch protection when she touch it. Hey, baby, you're gonna love it. And I'm gonna spit this person give you a summary of it. Jewelry so sparkling, she touch it. Grab so go, she touch it. Case, Casey, cause she touch it. Abracadabra rest. Oof, the sound of fabulous. Make no mistake, I uh-uh. have arts and cakes. She creates some great and shifts. Run the great legs, stay. Set a spark, contact her today. Passionately intrigued, our love is on this way. Hello and welcome to Passionately Intrigued Arts and this is Tracy. Today I'm going to try and put my um, purse chain, is that what you call it? I'm going to try and attach it to um, one of these cups. And I chose this cup because, of course, uh, aka, you know, they use pearls, they stand for pearls, and it's not quite even. Like, the ladies here and their symbol is so close. So I'm going to use this space here to place my chain. I just want to try it out. This is the first time I'm trying it and what I've done is I've measured down an inch and put a rubber band so that it's an inch all the way around so that I know where to place. I want to place my rivet. This is called a, um, what is it called? A screw back round rivet and I just have these that I'm going to try out and they're called screw backs because they actually screw. It's two parts but I'm going to leave it screwed in and apply it with some UV resin. So what I'm going to do first is try and figure out the middle. The middle of this area that I want to place my chain. So in circumference, this is seven centimeters wide. And that looks about like the center of this area that I want. So I will need to place my rivets here, here, and here. So let me get a little marker and mark those areas. And I'm just going to use a dry erase marker and put a little dot right there and then across from that side right here I'm going to set it in my cup holder and find that first dot right there so I've made a little dot right here and what I'm going to use is uh, the best unis UV resin I'm using a small little brush so I can have some kind of control and I'm just going to put a dot a drop right above that rubber band. I don't want it to touch that rubber band because I don't want to seal that onto this. Then I'll place my rivet and I'm going to place it sideways like this because my chain with these rings will hang this way. So I'm going to do it sideways, not this way, but sideways. I'm just going to set that above the dot on top of the UV resin and use my flashlight to seal it. Now after I get both of these rivets placed, held in place, secured a little bit with this light, then I will take it out in the sunshine and let the UV rays from the sun cure it completely for about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. So 
so it's secure it's on there and what I'm going to do is put a little more UV resin around the base of the rivet just to make sure it holds on then I can even place more when I remove this rubber rubber band I'm going to hit it again with the light and dry that resin a little bit then I'll flip it over and do the other side that should be good let me lift I'm not going to lift on it yet. Give it a little more UV light. It's on there good enough to where I can turn this cup over and find my other dot. Which is right here. So I'll place a dot of the best uni UV resin. Am I on the camera? I hope. Place a little dot right up above, a little dot of the resin right up above the dot that I made with the marker. And I'll take this other one, make sure it's screwed tight, and place it on top of the resin. give it the UV light for 60 seconds I guess 30 seconds 60 seconds just enough to hold it well Then I'll remove the rubber band, I'll pull it down and take it off, and then I'm going to take this outside. I'll put a little more resin around the base of the rivet, and then I'll take this outside and let it sit for a few, because the sun is shining bright today. So this is just a practice one for me. Um, I'm going to do some more, but I want to make sure that my image is lined up on here correctly and evenly. This one, as I looked at it, really wasn't centered. I mean, it's centered this way, but the other image, this one here, it's just like it's really far apart right here and close right here. So I didn't. Uh, I didn't design that quite right. It's okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is remove my rubber band. And of course, I'm gonna take it down, down to take it off, and then I'll take this outside. I just use this rubber band as a guide to line up the rivets. And what I didn't do on the other rivet was go around it again with some UV resin so I'll do that after I remove this rubber band okay so it was this one let me set it back on the cup holder and put a little more resin around the base And give it a 30 seconds with this UV light before I take it outside.
that's good enough. Take it outside and I'll be back when this is completely cured. So I left out in the sun for about 10 minutes and they seem secure. I know I've seen videos where they've used crazy glue. If I can lift this up, it seems secure. They use crazy glue, uh, UV resin, Gorilla Glue, some type of cement. There's a lot of things that are being used out there. So I thought I would just try the UV resin and see how that works. So let's attach the strap and see how it does. And like I said, I want it on this side here. So you just open up these ring clamps. Place it in there. Do the other side the same way. Let me should I lay it down so you can see it. Can't see too good in my video. The way I've got my camera set up. And let me place this one in there. And there you have it. Stand it up. And that's cute. Looks okay for a first time, but I think, I don't know, seems like it should be longer or, hmm, I guess it's okay, I guess it's okay, and then you can actually, if you want to, you can flip it over to the other side, which I don't care for it that way, so I'll just flip it back over, and these are let me reiterate, these are for de decorative purposes only. Please do not have a cup full of ice and water, drink, or whatever you have, and try and carry it. I mean, it, it holds, but with all that in there, I would not try it. It's just to make it, you know, it's just a fad. It's just a, a trend. Uh, cute. Just cute. Just puts a little something to it. So I'll place the top on, and I have straws that go inside. And the way my camera set up, landscape, I'm going to have to lay it down for you. You know, if it was sitting down, it would hang like that. Let's see. No, you see on the top of it. There you go. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. It's my first try. I'm going to design some more tumblers. Uh, the purse style tumblers, you know, the designer kind. And see what they look like. And, um add add the purse chain to them and see what they look like give me a thumbs up please leave some comments uh, have you tried this and what method did you use how far did you set your rivets down how far did you set them up what substance did you use to attach just let me know I'm gonna watch some more videos and uh, get it perfected a little bit and come back and use my new Tumblr press that I received from Kenya, uh, Creations by K. Aisha, and um, see what I come up with. I'm going to try and design some more chains also. I don't know if I'm going to use pearls or beads or, I don't know yet. I'm going to check it out and see what I can come up with. So thanks a lot. Uh, we'll see you next time. Hit the notification bell. Peace and love. Until next time, I'm out.